Sometimes when you import data or you copy and paste data from other software packages, numbers will be formatted or stored as text in Excel rather than stored as a number. Even when you try and change the format of the text to a number, it still doesn't work. This video will show you a couple of different ways that you can convert text to a number. Here in column A I have a series of product numbers. You can see in the top left hand corner of each cell that there is a little green triangle. When I click on one of the cells there is a little exclamation mark or alert that is trying to tell me something here over on the right hand side. If I hover my mouse over that alert then a little drop down arrow appears to the right of it and a little comment appears to tell me that the number in this cell is formatted as text or preceded by an apostrophe. Another telltale sign that the item in this cell is stored as text and not as a number is the fact that it is aligned to the left of the cell. Numbers are usually aligned to the right of a cell. If I click on the drop down arrow to the right of that alert symbol, you'll see that the very first item in the list is highlighted and it is telling me that the number is stored as text. To change that, I simply need to select the second item in the list, which is Convert Text to Number. You'll see now that the little green triangle has disappeared and the number is aligned to the right hand side of the cell, whereas the ones beneath it are aligned to the left because they are still stored as text. Now rather than converting each cell one by one, I can convert all of these cells at once by highlighting the cells hovering my mouse over the alert symbol, clicking on the drop down arrow next to the alert symbol and then by selecting convert text to number and it should work for all of those cells I had highlighted. I'm going to click on the undo button on the quick access toolbar because I want to show you another way you can convert text to a number. Another common way of converting is simply by taking the number that is stored as text and multiplying it by the number 1. So for example in cell B2 here I can add the formula equals A2 times 1 and then copy the formula down the column. But you then end up with two columns of the same data. Now you can obviously then paste this data as values and delete one of the columns so it's not a big issue. However, there is another way you can multiply the data by the number 1 without actually creating a duplicate column. Let me just delete that column I added and in an empty cell here I'm going to type the number 1. If I copy that number 1 by selecting the cell and then clicking on the copy button in the home tab, I can then use the paste special command to multiply all of these cells here by the number 1. To do that I select the cells and then click on the drop down arrow underneath the paste button, select paste special and then click on multiply in the dialog box that appears and finally click on OK. You'll see that the cells are now formatted as numbers and they are aligned to the right hand side of the cell. And because that particular method doesn't store the multiplication as a formula, I can simply delete the number 1 in cell C2 here and the numbers in column A still remain formatted as a number. I hope you found this tutorial useful.